Hello and welcome after Christmas break. I hope you had a good time. One of my favorite features on LG G3 stock ROM was a battery stats allowing you to tell you how soon you're gonna run out of charge or how soon your device will be charged. Initially, it was presented on the KitKat Android version. However, soon that feature was presented on each device that had Lollipop. This is a great feature to have. However, it's very annoying that to access it, you have to go all the way to battery stats when you can see how long your device will last. So we're gonna make our version. There is some math behind it, so I'm going to explain first. We're going to set one reading of the battery, which is battery one as a last battery reading. And then we will set another reading of the battery a few minutes later, which is a current reading. Subtracting the values will give us a loss of battery in, for example, 10 minute interval. To estimate how much minute we've got left, we have to divide the difference in battery stats from the initial battery reading and multiply it by 10. If the total number of minutes is less than 60, obviously we have a value. However, if it's more than 60, we have to calculate how many hours it is. In both cases, we're going to use floor function to establish the total integer number of hours or minutes that we will show in a display. Using simple subtractions, we can separate number of hours from decimal of minutes. I hope this is clear for you. If not, don't worry, I'll be explaining step by step what to do. As usual, we're just going to create a new project and jump straight to the tasks. We're going to cover this charging scenario first. Most of our calculations will be done within variables. We're going to need two of them to hold all the readings and the current readings. So in the first variable, battery one, I'm going to set to the current level of our battery. This variable can be found in a system variables. We also need one that will contain the readings from 10 minutes before. I'm going to update this profile every 10 minutes. For the battery two variable, I want to pass the value of battery one variable from 10 minutes ago. As you noticed, we need to swap the order to make it work. Also, I'm going to stop entire tasks in case the variable is not set. In the initial run, task one won't have a value. Using an if condition, I'll check if the variable battery2 has a regx containing letters ATT. You can do so by entering square brackets. This means if the battery2 is not set to a number, the task will stop and repeat 10 minutes later. Now we want to calculate the difference in charge. We're going to take the old value and subtract the new value from it. In our case, this is battery2 minus current state. Now I know how much battery I lost within the last 10 minutes. Make sure you're gonna select do maths as otherwise it won't calculate it. Also for extra security, I'm going to stop the task list if this value is less than one. This statement may be true if you connected your charger within that 10 minutes and disconnected it again. The next step is to calculate how many minutes will our device last with the current use. We're going to create a new variable called minute left. And to calculate this, we need to take total battery charge we've got right now and divide this by the rate of discharge, which we calculated previously. We are storing this value under battery difference. This result has to be multiplied by 10 as we're going to perform this check every 10 minutes. And again, don't forget to check do maths checkbox. We need to add if statement as there might be a situation when the minute left is lower than one hour. In that case, the calculations are very easy. All you have to do is just set number of hours to zero and minutes to minutes left. If this was indeed the case, all you have to do now is just add stop as we don't want the task to perform any further. 
So what if the minutes left are more than 59 or 60? We have to split that into hours and minutes. I'm going to assign a new variable, which is going to be hours value. This will store complete numbers of hours, also a decimal of minutes. The calculations are simple, we're just going to take all the minutes we've got and divide it by 60. To extract, however, number of hours as an integer number, we need to use floor function. We're gonna set variable called hours and system will read it as complete number of hours that we've got left. The decimal spaces will be completely ignored. Since we've got uh, the hours covered, let's jump to the minutes now. We only need the decimal value and you could play with the variable split. However, there is an easiest way. All you have to do is just to subtract total number of hours from the hours value. This will leave us with decimal space. And to calculate the minute value, we're going to use this with a floor function. This fraction value multiplied by 60 and rounded up to the nearest number will give us a number of minutes left. Now we have a number of hours, we have a number of minutes ready as well. We have to display it. For this I'm going to use auto notification just to give me a brief update every 10 minutes how much time I've got left on the current charge use. I'm just going to pass a raw data, but feel free to use it in a widget or in remote notification function, it's all up to you. Okay now, job's done. Now we can focus on the charging scenario. The entire process is very easy, all you have to do is just clone the scenario and replace some values. For every variable I used already, I'm going to change it to charge. For more complicated variables, I'm just going to add charge in front of it. All actions are completely the same, apart from one small change. Because this is a charging scenario, in this case we're going to take the current value of the battery, which is a system value battery, and we're going to subtract the our created variable battery, well charge battery too. Unlike in this charging scenario, the old value will be always smaller than the new one. It's a little bit tedious process, however, stay focused and make sure you're gonna change all the variable names, otherwise the profile, the charging profile won't work. The positive side about it, you don't have to think much because all the thinking has been done in this charging profile and we've made the changes already. Don't forget to change the notification settings as well because you have to change the title of the message and change the variable used for that plugin. In our tutorial we've been using a 10 minute interval to calculate battery discharge rate. So we're going to base our profile on the time and repeat it every 10 minutes. Also, I'm going to link another condition, which is going to be a power state charging or not charging. For this charging scenario, I want to invert this and for charging scenario, I want this to be positive. This way, only appropriate profile will be run whenever the device is discharging or it's charging or connected to a computer. A bit of a profile maintenance here, just to quickly rename it to make sure you can recognize easily what each task do. And that's it guys, there you have it. Now you can easily 
tell how long till your device will run out of power at your current discharge rate or how soon your device will be fully charged. As always guys, thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it, leave me a comment if you think something could be improved or there is any new ideas and of course I'll see you in the next one.